Abby Roach has waited 18 years for this day. To ensure our communities, our roads. Roach intends to be one of the first retailers to apply to legally sell pot in Ontario. I think it's fantastic. Of course, she's not going to be able to get into the action right away. A regulatory retail framework has to be built. Applicants will have to pass background checks. There will be rules around staff training, hours of operation and pricing. And until all of that is in place, the province is urging Ontarians who want to buy to go online, in part to extinguish the black market. I do not see regular, the average Joe going only to the legal online dispensary to get their cannabis when they've been buying cannabis now for probably 20 years from an illegal source comfortably. And what about all the dispensaries already up and running all over the province? Ontario says come October, it will come down hard on anyone selling illegally. Cannabis lawyer Harrison Jordan is telling his clients to believe it. There's illicit dispensaries all over Ontario, so I would certainly say that if you want to go legal, turn everything off uh, and so you can come online fresh. And he says it's not just those who sell pot illegally who could get in trouble. There's an offence uh, federally um, against possessing illicit cannabis, uh, so it's certainly possible individuals could be charged for possessing cannabis uh, if they buy it from a street dealer. So that is uh, something interesting that uh, individuals could be subject to. So will consumers get on board and buy pot online until April? Yeah. Well, truthfully, I don't even use Amazon. Jordan Prentice says he's going to stick to buying pot the old-fashioned way. Truthfully, uh, I, I've i been smoking weed for, like, you know, like it, recreationally, you know, socially, whatever, like, for a long time now. So if uh, they decide to do whatever they decide to do, I still wouldn't mind just, you know, calling up that old number that's, you know, deep down tucked away in my phone and... Even after its legalization, some habits will die hard. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto. Okay, a couple of uh, other points about Ontario's new pot plan. Cities will have the chance to forbid retailers from setting up shop in their neighbourhoods altogether. And the government-run Ontario Cannabis Store will still supply cannabis to private sellers. And in terms of privatization, Ontario isn't the only province going that route. To varying degrees, private retailers will sell pot in Newfoundland and Labrador, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and B.C. Alberta will have a similar model to Ontario's in that the only way to buy in person will be to go through private stores. In B.C., it'll be a mix of private and government-run stores, whereas in Quebec, New Brunswick, PEI, and Nova Scotia, all retail sales will go through the government.